sleight of hand or enchanting illusions. We showcase all kinds of magic because we never know what will fool the stars of our show. But one thing we do know is that it won't be easy. Now let the games begin as we bring out two of the greatest minds in magic, Penn and Teller. <laughs> Teller can't figure out a trick. They declare that magician to be a fooler and give them the prestigious and shiny Fool Us trophy. Our first winner might be this magician right here. I'm Ben Jackson. I'm from Houston, Texas. I majored in biomedical sciences with a chemistry minor and a business minor. So when I graduated, I naturally became a magician. I traded medical school for magic. I've made a specialty of using magic to reach people in unexpected ways. When the Houston Museum of Natural Science asked me to be their spokesperson, I created some magical content to boost attendance. I turned ancient papyrus into $100 bills, produced a dinosaur bone from nowhere, and made priceless diamonds magically appear. Oh, missed one. Penn, Teller, I've created this one just for you. member of our studio audience, Texas magician, Ben Jackson. Come on, bro. Hey. Good to see you. Thank you. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. I'm Team. happy to help if I can. Oh, you're going to knock it out of the park. Team, before we get started, I want you to know that in high school, I was president of the Latin Club. Oh. Which means I was also voted, most likely, to become a magician. Right, Teller? Uh-huh. Yeah, Carpe mm -hmm. Diem, brother, right there. Pound it. Tempest Fugit, girlfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you see, Teller taught high school Latin and Greek for six years, which means he's familiar with the story of Theseus from Greek mythology, a man who entered into a labyrinth to slay the Minotaur. In order to navigate the twists and turns of the maze, he used one of these, a clue, C-L-E-W, an antiquated term for a ball of yarn. Ingeniously, he tied one end to the entrance, he unraveled it as he strolled through, and then he simply followed the yarn back to the beginning to make sure he never got lost. And that's the origin story of the word clue, C-L-U-E, as we know it today, because a clue is a guide to help solve a mystery. Classic story, deserves a classic piece of magic, so we'll use a length of yarn, a knitting needle, and that barred ring. Sir, now's that time. Very good. Here's the beauty in this. There's no big boxes, no laser lights, no flashy props. Just a ring, a yarn, and some help. Brooke, please okay. hold on to the ends, please. Very good. Now look, the only way that the ring gets off the yarn is through the ends. Unless you find the sweet spot, which is right here. Once, twice, off. What? Please calm down, all of you. Calm what? down, very good. I know. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> now, Brooke, yes. did you let go of the ends? I did not. That makes that impossible. Fantastic. Sir, we're going to do it again as fairly as I can. As you can definitely see, it's on there. I'm sensing some trust issues from this man. Okay, no, it really is on there. It really is. Okay. Brooke, you're going to watch the ends. Okay. You're going to watch the ring. <gasps> I'm going to do it until you enjoy it. Okay, sir, here we go. Get... <laughs> no, well, here's the deal. Look at this. Take a mental snapshot. Really burn that image in your mind and realize that ring really is on that yarn. A little insider baseball. Here's what I'm not doing. I don't go over like this and pull. I massage. The metal heats up. Pops what? off. That's the easy part. Hard part is to come back like this and go right back on. That's the hard part. Oh, yeah. Oh, now he's good. Oh, now he's good. Very good. Okay. That's amazing. One last time. Clearly going through. We're going to isolate the ring. Multitask okay. right here. Can you guys multitask? I can. We're going to find out. You can do it, bro. <laughs> That's right. Hold on the end there for me, sir. Thank you. Actually, with your other hand, please. And would you hold on the other hand, Brooke? Yes. Very good. See the cap right there? Yes. Hold on to the cap, please. Okay. Sir, lean in. Hold on to that point. Very good. Now, I can't go this way. I can't go this way. Okay. You can only go forward once, twice. Don't move. <gasps> Done. What? Um, what? Yes. I'm telling you right now. Look at that. I mean. Look at that. That's cool. Solid has passed through solid. I get chills being around me. I really do. I really do. <laughs> One last time, I'll do it as fairly and as slowly as I can. Ready? Yes. Sir, say go. Go. Gone. Gone. Not on the yarn. Not on the hands. Not on me. It's back at the beginning. 
No. Way. I didn't say on your finger, I just said back at <laughs> the beginning. I'm just saying. It would have freaked me out, man. Oh way out right there. No. That'd be crazy. But at the beginning of what? At the beginning of what? I'll give you a clue. See? This is what the show's all about. Penn and Teller search for clues. Magicians come on this stage and they weave their tangled web of deception, and it's up to Penn and Teller to watch intently and to decipher in real time as to what they're looking at, if it's a genuine clue or if it's just misdirection. Those aren't the clues I'm looking for. It's neither of those. Toss them, team, toss them. Yeah, go crazy. We're having a party. Not that one or this one or this one or that one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, right uh, down there at the very bottom, e pluribus unum, out of many, one. Brooke? Yes. Take that whole thing out. Okay. Hold it right there. This is the clue we've been looking for. This is the clue in question. Because we've been using the end the entire time. And like Theseus, we have to get back to the beginning. Okay. Brooke, take out your right hand palm up, please. Hold tightly. Okay. Very good. Sir, hold on to the end. Both magic and mythology produce a powerful effect, even though it's just pretend, because we can't help but knit ourselves into the narrative. We envision slaying the monsters of our own lives, navigating through impossible conditions and wielding the elements at our fingertips. We all wanna know how the story ends, especially this man. <laughs> Can you cup your hands, sir? <gasps> Empty the contents into his hand, please. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I'll wow. take the jar. Okay. Sir, would you be so kind to uh, untie the ribbon and then hand me the ribbon? Friends, the beauty of magic does not lie in the deception. It lies in the moments of connection. And brother, this moment, it's just for you. Slowly open that box. Whose ring is that? That's mine. Give me a round of applause, man. We really appreciate your help this afternoon. Wow, the amazing Ben Jackson, everyone. That was mind blowing. Oh, good. Can you recall a particular life lesson? Did magic teach you something oh. significant in your life? I think magic has taught me to be so thankful. My mom has been cleaning teeth for 30 years. And I remember one day I called my mom on the phone and said, Mom, I'm getting ready for a gig. I'm not feeling really great about it. I don't really want to go. I was kind of down in the dumps. She said, oh, you want to go to your magic show? Your magic show where people clap and they just applaud and they go ooh and ah over your magic tricks and you're not feeling great about that? Well, boo hoo, right? Oh and God. so, you know, she said, Ben, you know how people clap and applaud for me after I clean their teeth? None, <laughs> nobody, no one does this. So be thankful, be oh, thankful that sweet. you get to bring joy to people. That's so, sweet. Yeah. Okay, Ben, everybody ready? Let's see if Penn and Teller have a clue as to how you worked your magic. Fair enough. Boys? Hey, Ben, that was, that was really nice. You put together really, uh, really different stuff. I mean, the, the, uh, the, the ring in the ball of wool is a Victorian trick. Yes. It's, in, it's in all the magic books. We were all ready for that from the moment you came out. With the, uh, with the ball of yarn, we said, oh, well, that's where the needle's going. But what we didn't anticipate was the jar being in there. And that was a really, really nice idea. And all that string stuff does not go back to Victorian times. There's a lot of new stuff uh, you invented there. So by giving a history of it, I'm trying not to take away from you. You set the whole thing up with Teller being a Latin teacher, and I was needling Teller to try to give the explanation in Latin. And unfortunately, some of the words we want to use were not around then, but Teller did write one thing in Latin that I think might give you a hint. You want to show him that? These are two Latin scholars conversing. Uh, it's been a while. It's been, it's been, it's been a while. <laughs> I think what it means is, that you didn't fool us. Oh. Does that make sense? You know what, they're the Is smartest that... guys in the room for, for a reason, so gotta hand it to them. I guess they got me. Uh... Thank you so much, Ben. Ben Thank Jackson, you. Everyone. Thank you, everybody. You were fantastic, Ben. Wow. You boys are tough tonight. Stick around, fool us, we'll be right back. Ben 
Jen Jackson, who just did some amazing magic with yarn and a ring. I was up close and personal. It was amazing. He didn't full pen and teller, but the boys have asked us to bring him back to have a quick word with him. Pen, teller. Ben, everything we said positive about you is absolutely true. But as you know very well, and they don't know, we talked to you backstage during the commercial, and you told us in detail how you did the trick, and we thought we had it, and we didn't. Ben, you fooled us. Wait, we what? were wrong. and just fooled Penn and Teller. And we've got another potential fooler for these guys right here. Magic is a kind of spiritual calling for me. The reason for this is uh, bittersweet. I had no interest in magic growing up. Then my grandpa got very sick and went uh, into the hospital. I saw him every day. He was so ill, we couldn't communicate. Then a friend of mine showed me a magic trick to cheer me up. I said, <laughs> teach me that. I need you to show me how to do it. Then I ran to the hospital and I showed the trick to my grandpa. For the very first time in weeks, I saw a smile in his eyes. After that, I learned trick after trick as quickly as I could, anything to amuse my grandpa. And in this way, all our last conversation, we spoke magic to each other. Now, many years later, magic is my profession. But I'll tell you a secret. I don't really do this for money. I do this because when I surprise or amuse someone with magic, and I look at their face, I see my grandfather's eyes. Spanish hands, Juan Luis Rubiales. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, everybody. My name is Rubiales. I come from Spain. Uh, please don't worry if you don't understand well my English. I come from the south of Spain, and the rest of the Spaniard don't understand well my Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> All of you are in the same conditions. I want to do a card trick, OK? For that, I have here a deck of cards, and I'm going to deal cards all over the table, and whenever you want, just tell me a stop, and I will stop. Whenever you want, just tell me a stop. Stop. Sure? Yeah. This will be your card, OK? OK. Uh, you are not going to see it yet. OK. But in a while. OK. Now is your turn. I'm going to uh, put cards all over the table, and when you want, tell me stop. There? OK, I forgot you cannot talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to deal the rest of the card right here. These are your cards. And can you see this uh, picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to try to do the same here. But I'm not going to uh, take another deck of cards. I'm going to try to make my own deck of cards. How? With magic. You will take uh, the first one. The first thing I need is this, another close-up mat. And this ball, if I bounce the ball without an intention, nothing happens. But if I bounce with an intention, cards start appearing each time that I bounce the ball. I know what you are thinking. You are thinking, OK, but it's going to take so long uh, to make a whole deck. And this is a TV. We have no uh, time. Don't worry about that. I made uh, it appear at my room. <laughs> <laughs> then, uh, for example, uh, can you help me, please? I'm going to put a car like that. And you are going to wash the car here on the table. Can you wash the car there? Uh, can you help me, uh, him uh, to wash the car? Want me to help him? I shuffle this two. OK. And now I have here another ball. This is a red one. This one is to uh, print the backs of the cards. Mm -hmm. Then uh, select any, any back, any card. That one? OK. 
Okay, this is going to be yours. Uh, what for you? This one right here. That one? Yep. Okay, this one and this one. I have to print the back. Watch. <laughs> and you need to know which are each one of the hearts. Your card is the four of uh, clubs and a queen of heart. Four of clubs and queen of heart. This is the queen and this is <laughs> the four. And now, and now we have exactly the same image. Oh, no, 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 we, hold, 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 your, hold your horses, <laughs> because it's not exactly the same image. If I want to have here exactly the same image, all this car must be blank. And you are not going to believe me, because these cars are all blank, 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 and blank. Yes. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, thank you. What is the life of a magician like? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. My family was not a rich. Uh, I never imagined that I could be a traveling from Spain to Tokyo, France, England, Las Vegas. Mm. Uh, I, I cannot pay in any way all that the magic is given to me. And how important are your emotions? in your performance? The emotion in magic is everything. Okay, the trick doesn't matter at all. Because the magic doesn't happen in your hand, happen in your heart. Okay, it's about to touching uh, this uh, part of your soul and make you happy just uh, for a few minutes. Okay, Juan, it's time to talk to Penn and Teller. Now, oh, I know you touched their hearts, but let's see if you fooled their minds. Boys. Juan, this gusto mucho. Gracias. Uh, uh, <laughs> just, just wonderful, mind blowing, so ingenious. You know, um, boy, the Spaniards and their card tricks. Wow, um, all of us, all of us are just fabulous. But I got to tell you, with card tricks, um, it's usually personality and intellectual. What you rarely get with card tricks is a real visual, visceral illusion. You don't usually get pure illusions in card tricks, and you really brought that in just a gorgeous way. It's just one of the most beautiful, mind-blowing acts, and the fact that it's cards doesn't even matter. It's a beautiful visual thing that we just see there, and just a uh, whole different way to see card tricks, and so ingenious. I mean, completely creative. And I don't want to force myself to give code words and so on. You, you can go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, give them to us. <laughs> Can I just keep saying, great, great, great. And uh, we happen to know how you did it. And that actually makes it much more ingenious. It's a brilliant use of everything you used. And we loved it. You blew our minds. But you didn't fool us. <laughs> Join the Thank audience. You so Thank you so Thank much. You. Um, I'll be back. Yes, you will. Come back and play with us. Juan Luis Rubiales, everyone. Don't disappear. We still have more magic to show you when Fool Us returns. Some act for you. Take a look, everyone. This is the greatest act I've ever seen. From the moment I walked off the stage, I knew I want to come back. I love creating new magic. I think up original tricks and unusual methods by filling my mind with an enormous amount of data. The history of mankind, the place of Shakespeare. I learned a few digits of pi, not too many, a few thousands maybe. And from all of this comes the inspiration for the new and unusual magic. That's where tonight's trick came from. Pen, teller. You've never seen a combination like this. Because it's brand new. And that's how I might fool you. See if you can wrap your 
head around the magic of Harry Keaton. Have you ever, have you ever tried to remember someone's name, remember, and it won't come out? It is buried somewhere in your cranium. You have it at the tip of your tongue, but you just can't retrieve it. I've invented a magical solution for this kind of mental block. I'll demonstrate with a few names I found on the internet. These are the most famous people known by one name. You know, like Aristotle, Adele, or Banksy, Beethoven, Picasso, Elvis, Teller. <laughs> and Brooke can choose her favorite. Brooke, please tick any box you like. It's up to you. Don't let anybody see, especially not me. Okay. And memorize the name. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, put it over here all the way back, please. Okay. Face down, if you will, and join me again. Okay, here. Now, no, you just stand here. Now you're holding a name in your mind that only you know. I am. Okay, great. Let's pretend it is stuck there. How can we retrieve it? I've got some mental blocks for your mental block. Please choose any cube you like. It's up to you. Any cube. Which one would you like to have? It's I up to would you. like this one, cube. That's one? Yes. That's the one? Yes. You want to change? Okay, I'll take you this can. one. You can? You want to yeah. change again? No? no? Okay. Please come over here and have a seat. Have a seat. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Now, one side should be black on this side. Is that true? Yes. Uh, and the key to this working is to keep a positive mental attitude, which okay. you have, I know. So okay. please draw a smiley on the black side. Okay. See, on the black side, okay? Okay. Hello, Pen. <laughs> Hello, Tail. You may have your eyes on me, but I have my eyes on you too. Throw this, throw this chalk in the net, please. The chalk goes in the net, that's it. Have a look, is that tube really empty? Yes. 100%. Is this tube empty too? Yes. You bet. Now please take the block in your left hand. Your left hand, that's it. And hold the right hand flat. Yes, that's it. And grab it from underneath. You got it? Because I would love to, to demonstrate. Can I have it? Yes. I would love to demonstrate something. See? Something will happen. And you tell me if, I've, if you feel it, okay? Did you yes. feel it? Yes. Lift, lift the tube. See, it just falls through. Now what is going to happen? This block travels into the tube, through the tube, through the ear, into the head, and hopefully out of the head again. And thanks to your smiley, this block is unique. Now, let's put this away. And I don't want to touch this anymore. Because, because I don't want to touch it anymore. I don't want to contaminate it before your surgery. My surgery. Your surgery. My surgery. Let me have this. Please look straight ahead. But don't worry. <clears throat> it's okay. only a minor operation. <laughs> can we fix it? Yes, we can. <laughs> you will feel a slight pressure at your ear. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Close your eyes. Relax, relax. Maybe it works. Good, 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 good. Are you all good? Are you all done? I'm good. Uh, excellent. Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> now we have direct access to your brain. Please take the tube at the handle and hold it at your ear. That's it. Great. And take this tube and hold it at your ear. Oh Perfect. Boy. That's it. Hey. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, don't think, don't move. Otherwise, the block might get stuck in your head. Okay. At the count three, two, one. This block, with Book Smiley, will cure her mental block, okay? Okay. And you tilt your body to the left when I say so, okay? okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Okay. Three. Two. And one, bend, 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 bend. Whoa. You, can let go. you can let go here, and you can let go here. You can let go here. Woo. Have 
have a look. Is that really your blog? Make it is it your blog? That's of course blog. it is your blog. Uh, bro, wow. please stand up. Please give me stand up. Now remember, we had Scared. all different kind of blocks, different shapes, different colors. You could have taken a blue one, a brown one, a red one, a yellow one, and you changed. You wanted a green one. Mm -hmm. Now this block has a very special core. The core consists of a highly sensitive paper. This paper retrieves thoughts. And at the beginning, we had one name in mind. My thoughts. Yeah, one name. In, into your mind. What was the name you were thinking of? Shakespeare. Shakespeare. And he... ah! Shakespeare! Oh, wow. Congratulations! Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give it up, everyone, for Harry Keaton. Oh, my goodness. It worked. Woo. It worked. How do you feel? Everything well, okay? That was Bizarre and strange and yes, that's crazy what and mind blowing. Are. I hope it was. That's yes, amazing. What's your favorite thing about magic? Well, I think it's about the complexity. The complexity, I think, is such fascinating to you mm -hmm. to work with the audience, to have that communication thing, and at the same time, I'm hiding something. Mm -hmm. So it's like almost like uh, schizophrenic. <laughs> But of course, you want to reach your audience on an emotional level. You know, it should be fun as well. So, you know, when I'm when I'm working a drill on your head, so that's uh, that's not too intellectual. All right, Harry. Let's yes. see. Let's see if Penn and Teller know how you pulled that name right out of my head. Yes. We're ready. Yes, we are ready. Hey, Harry. Yes. Boy, boy, we love you. But that last thing you did just absolutely fried us. We love the way you think. Your magic doesn't look like anything else. And a lot of times in magic, you're trying to get things that are justified and make sense. And you do stuff that is not justified and doesn't make sense and makes it <laughs> surreal and wonderful. And although it wasn't supposed to be the fooler in this trick, the drill into the head with the uh, sawdust or the, I guess, brain matter blowing through was just so funny and so terrific. It just looked great all the way through. And we also love the way you put stuff together. You just layer stuff. You just go through an advanced magic book, go through the index, and you'd find, you know, there's mentalism, there's prop magic, there's prediction, there's uh, the block and tube trick. It's all stuff we're familiar with, all stuff we'd see there, but put together beautifully. And uh, last time you fooled us, and this time we don't think you did, but boy, we loved it. And boy, we loved you drilling through Brooke's head, even though we <laughs> loved Brooke. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> 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 Thank you. I think they did. Oh, Congratulations. Well done. Bye-bye. Thanks for drilling through my head. Okay, so let's recap. A, that was amazing. B, we'll be right back. C, you in a minute. Fool Us is back, and Penn and Teller are ready to take on their next potential fooler. Let's meet them right now. My theater is in Hawaii. Because it's a Pacific island, close to Japan, the way of life feels familiar to me. I came from a humble background. When I was young, I taught myself sleight of hand, using stones for practice, because I couldn't afford coins. Magic was my safe space then. It still is. In fact, it has to be. I want my show to be a place that connects people to joy and peace. My first time on Fulas was very emotional. Keller came back to his seat uh, with tears in his eyes and Penn gave me a beautiful compliment. The best sleight of hand of anybody in the world right now. But Penn and the killer also said they knew my methods. So I didn't fool them. I've spent the past two years working up new methods Penn and Teller have never seen. I came back to surprise them. And if I don't, that will truly surprise me. he was here, he made Teller cry. Who knows what he'll make Teller do this time? Give it up for the amazing Shoot Ogawa. I want to share what I can do tonight. Hopefully, we enjoy it together. OK. 
Okay. I got more jobs. 
Is there anything else in magic that you're looking forward to doing? I don't know, but I want to be like a person who just change the mood for everyone and make people a little bit happier. But like you feel like something nicer. Uh, I think I... you did that for us tonight. Yes. <laughs> I think magic makes people happy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, shoot. Let's see if the boys have figured out your magic methods. Okay. We ready? Hey, shoot. Uh, you're, you're a friend of ours, and we uh, we love you. And I got to tell you that uh, when I picture magician, I picture you. Uh, it's just like you have this this way of carrying yourself and this way of moving and this way of using objects that really seems what what magic is in this day and age. It's just beautiful. And the idea of using a prop that nobody thinks is magical and turning it into something magical using every element of the spoon because the spoon has these shapes and these gleams and this, this, this look that is so magical and you're the first one to have discovered that. And because we're friends, there's also this cat and mouse game going going where you know what we know and we know that you know that you know this and we know this and also we know none of it <laughs> yeah, also you come to see our show come backstage then you show us stuff and talk to us about stuff which does not help you it helps you in the friendship it does not help you in the game um and i'm not going to go into uh details but um, I'll just say that um, you're one of our favorite magicians. You are becoming the icon for magician, but we don't think you fooled us. Is that right, Shoot? Did they yep. know the way? Yep. They think, I think they know. Mm. <laughs> well, we really enjoyed that. Thank yep. you so Thank you much. much. Let's give them another round of applause, everyone. Shoot Ogawa. Don't bail on us. Stay on board for more some magic when Foolis returns. Here's a little inside Fool Us fun fact. Penn and Teller get really hungry while we're doing the show. And by the end of the night, they are starving. And we always have food ready for them. Well, tonight, the food came a little bit early. And we don't want it to get cold. So here, along with their dinner, are Penn and Teller. Thank you, Bill. <coughs> um, we're going to do, thank you. We're going to do um, a bunch of card manipulations. There'll be some sleight of hand some cardistry. My hands are a little greasy, so okay. while I'm drying them off, we just open the deck, okay. take them out, Brooke. And uh, now I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna take the card, I'll take the cards, okay. and I'm gonna fan them out. Yeah. Don't talk have to the mouthful. I know, have you take one, but um, hands are a little, you know, okay. with greasy cards are awful. Just pull the card out of the middle, anywhere you want out of the okay. middle. Yeah, and just show it to the camera, don't let us see it. Yeah. Okay. And then put it back on top. Okay. And cut it into the middle. Leave okay. it. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Now that card's lost on the deck. How's the food, guys? Good, good. I didn't get any I'll food. Find, <laughs> I'll find the card, and um, uh, I'm about to finish this chip. Give me another cut, would you? Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cut, right? Just complete the cut. Okay. okay. Put it in the middle. Now, tell her. Oh, that looks really good. Okay. Tell her it'll take the um, whole deck. Um, okay. Well, it's all your hands are... You're going to wipe your hand. Do you guys need a napkin? Yeah, give another cut. All right. Um, the card's lost in the deck, right? Okay. Good. Now we're going to find it in an interesting way. You cut them again. I, get, I want to have another bite of this patty melt. It's a vegan patty melt. It's pretty good. Um, pretty good. Vegan. You want to turn them... Turn them... Um, turn them face up. Just turn them all over, the whole deck over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then... And then, um, and then give him a cut. Another cut? Yeah, and then complete the cut. Complete yeah. the cut, okay. And then cut him again. Cut him again? Yeah. I'm gonna get him back in the okay. middle. And then turn him back face up there. Yeah, okay. beautiful. And now, and now, um, now I'm gonna take the cards and I'm going to, uh, <laughs> well, we're gonna magically make it, oh, damn. Um, we'll make it rise. Okay. Where is it now, Tom? card is 20 down on the deck. No, don't count yet. 20 down on the deck. But um, raise it up. Think, raise up, raise up. Get, I got on my shirt here. Uh, raise up. Now, what does that tell her? Uh, nine? Nine. Okay. 
Yeah, we can do better. I, I'll take it from. No, I, I don't want. I just did. What a good patty melt. Yeah. I didn't get any food. Does anybody notice that I didn't get any dinner? Well, Marlon? <laughs> Should I have a bite of that? No, 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 come on. I'm good. I don't talk about that. You know where I've been. <laughs> um, I'm going to make it all the way. Good? Okay. Yeah, all the way. Do you remember what your card was, Brooke? Two of hearts. Two of hearts? Two of hearts. Yeah, sure, sure. Reach in the bill. You pull out one card. Yes. And you show you how miss them up. Two of hearts. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. And then imagine we made the card go to the top. And what was the name of the card? Two of hearts. Yeah, show the artist. From the top? No. This is where it is. And just like that, our show is cut and completed, but you can be sure that we'll have a fresh batch of new tricks for you next time on Fula. Maybe some dinner for me? Maybe. Until then, good night, everyone. also said they knew my methods, so I didn't fool them. I've spent the past two years working up new methods Pan and Teller have never seen. I came back to surprise them, and if I don't, that will truly surprise me.
I got more jobs. <laughs> Is there anything else in magic that you're looking forward to doing? I don't know, but I want to be like a person who just change the mood for everyone and make people a little bit happier. But like you feel like something nicer. Uh, I think I... you did that for us tonight. Yes. <laughs> magic makes people happy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, shoot. Let's see if the boys have figured out your magic methods. Okay. We ready? Hey, shoot, uh, you're, you're a friend of ours, and we, uh, we love you. And I got to tell you that uh, when I picture magician, I picture you. Uh, it's just like you have this, this way of carrying yourself and this way of moving and this way of using objects that really seems what, what magic is in this day and age. It's just beautiful. And the idea of using a prop that nobody thinks is magical and turning it into something magical using every element of the spoon because the spoon has these shapes and these gleams and this, this, this look that is so magical and you're the first one to have discovered that. And because we're friends, there's also this cat and mouse game going, going where you know what we know and we know that you know that you know this and we know this. And also... We know none of it. Yeah, also, you come to see our show, come backstage, then you show us stuff and talk to us about stuff, which does not help you. It helps you in the friendship. It does not help you in the game. Um, and I'm not going to go into uh, details, but um, I'll just say that um, you're one of our favorite magicians. You are becoming the icon for magician, but we don't think you fooled us. Is that right, Shoot? Did they yeah. know the way? Uh, they think, I think they know. Yeah. <laughs> well, we really enjoyed that. Thank yeah. you so Thank you much. much. Let's give them another round of applause, everyone. Shoot Ogawa. Don't bail on us. Stay on board for more awesome magic when Fool Us returns. Here's a little inside Fool Us fun fact. Penn and Teller get really hungry while we're doing the show. And by the end of the night, they are starving. And we always have food ready for them. Well, tonight, the food came a little bit early. And we don't want it to get cold. So here, along with their dinner, are Penn and Teller. Thank you, Bill. <coughs> um, we're going to do, thank you. We're going to do um, a bunch of card manipulations. There'll be some sleight of hand some cardistry. My hands are a little greasy, so okay. while I'm drying them off, we just open the deck, okay. take them out, Brooke. And right. uh, now I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna take the card, I'll take the cards, okay. and I'm gonna fan them out. 
Yeah. Don't talk like every, a mouthful. I know. Have you take one? But um, hands are a little, you know, with greasy cards are awful. Just you. pull the card out of the middle. Leave where you want out of the middle. Okay. Yeah, and just show it to the camera. Don't let us see it. Well, okay. And then put it back on top. Okay. Then cut it into the middle. Leave okay. it. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Now that card's lost on the deck. How's the food, guys? Good, really good. I didn't get any I'll food. Find, <laughs> I'll find the card, and um, uh, I bought to finish this chip. Give me another cut, would you? Okay, sure. Yeah. Just complete the cut. Okay. okay. Put it in the middle. Now, tell her. Oh, that looks really good. Okay. Tell her we'll take the um, whole deck. Um, okay. Well, tell her your hands are. You're gonna wipe your hand. Do you guys need a napkin? Hey, give me another cut. All right. <laughs> um, the card's lost on the deck, right? Good. Okay. Now we gotta find it in an interesting way. You cut them again. I, I want to have another bite of this patty melt. It's a vegan patty melt. It's pretty good. Um, good. Vegan. Once the firm, turn them, um, turn them face up. Just turn them all over the whole deck over. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then, um, and then give them a cup. Another cut? Yeah, and then complete the cut. Complete yeah. the cut, okay. And then cut them again. Cut them again? Yeah. I'm gonna get them back in the okay. middle. And then turn them back. Face up there, yeah, beautiful. And now, now, um, now I'm going to take the cards, and I'm going to. Uh, well, we're going to magically make it. Oh, damn, um, we'll make it rise. Okay. Where is it now, Tom? Card is twenty down on the deck. No, don't count yet. Twenty down on the deck, but um, raise it up. Think, raise up, raise up. Get, I got on my shirt here. Uh, raise up. Now, what is that, Teller? Uh, nine? Nine. Okay. Yeah, we can do better. I, I'll take it from... No, I, I don't want... I just... What a good patty melt. I know. didn't get any food. Does anybody notice that I didn't get any dinner? Well, my own? <laughs> Should I have a bite of that? No, 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 I don't talk about that. You know where I've been. <laughs> um, um, I want to make it all the way. Good? Okay. Yeah, all the way. Do you remember what your card was, Brooke? Two of hearts. Two of hearts? Two of hearts. Yeah, sure, sure. Beach sure. in the bill. You pull out one card. Yes. And show all the other and miss them up. Two of them. Turn it Turn it Turn it Turn it And then imagine we made the card go to the top. What was the name of the card? Two of hearts. Yeah, show the others. From the top? No. Yeah, this is where it is. Woo! Oh, good. And just like that, our show is cut and completed. But you can be sure that we'll have a fresh batch of new tricks for you next time on... Ula, maybe some dinner for me. Until then, good night, everyone. <laughs>